Welcome to our lesson about assembly transparency. I've got three components in my assembly. Two are opaque, and one component is about 50% transparent. I'm going to right-click on part number two and select Edit Part. Now the part that I'm editing remains opaque. The rest of the part becomes transparent. In this lesson, we're going to examine the settings that control these parameters. Let's go to System Options, and let's click on the Display Selection branch. We've got a section down here, Assembly Transparency, for in-context edit. Here we've got three options in the drop-down menu. Currently, Force Assembly Transparency is selected. When this option is selected, the components that are not being edited become transparent. The level of transparency depends upon the position of this slider. Currently, it's set to about 90%. The next option is Opaque Assembly. In other words, components that are not being edited become opaque. As you see, the last component here becomes opaque. By the way, we're still in part editing mode. Let's go back to System Options, Display Selection. The last option is Maintain Assembly Transparency. In other words, the components that are not being edited retain their individual transparency settings. Let's click OK. As you see, the original transparency settings of the individual components are not changed while a part's edited. I'd like to return to the Force Assembly Transparency option. Now let's check out some transparency settings in another place. System Options, Colors. Here we have the option to use a specific color when editing a part in an assembly. We specify the color right here. Let's just make our selection of which type of element to edit. Assembly, Edit Part. Currently blue is selected. Here's Assembly, Non-Edit Part. It's gray. Let's click OK. Notice that the part we're editing becomes blue and the rest of our assembly is gray. Let's go back to the System Options window colors and uncheck the Use Specified Colors when editing parts and assemblies option. OK to close the System Options window. This concludes our lesson about assembly transparency.